The Book of Enoch, an ancient text, full of mysteries. It tells a story, a story of angels, angels who once walked among us, and their fall from grace. These celestial beings, known as the Watchers, descended to earth. They were meant to guide and protect humanity. This book is not part of the Bible, but it's important. It gives us clues, clues about our past. Enoch was a prophet. He walked with God. He was chosen for a divine mission, and God took him up to heaven in a whirlwind. Enoch saw amazing things, things beyond our world. He wrote them down. His writings reveal secrets of the heavens and the earth. In the book of Enoch, this ancient manuscript is a treasure trove of knowledge. It speaks of the divine and the forbidden. This book talks about the watchers, angels sent to earth to watch over humanity, but they disobeyed God. They shared forbidden knowledge with humans, and now their story is shrouded in mystery. The Book of Enoch remains a key to understanding these ancient tales. It challenges us to look beyond the known and explore the unknown. Enoch's journey was incredible. It was a path filled with trials and revelations, a testament to his unwavering faith and determination. He was a mortal man, just like any of us, yet his spirit was extraordinary. But he walked with God, and in doing so, he transcended the ordinary and he saw the heavens. This journey is symbolic of spiritual enlightenment, a reminder that we too can reach for the divine. The Watchers were angels, celestial beings sent to guide humanity. They were meant to be our protectors and teachers, but they were tempted by the daughters of men. They fell from grace, succumbing to earthly desires, and their fall was great, a tragic tale of lost virtue and broken trust. They gave in to their desires, abandoning their divine mission, and their actions had consequences, severe consequences. For them it meant eternal damnation, and for all of humanity it brought chaos and suffering, a reminder of the delicate balance between good and evil. The Watchers had children, with human women. These children were different, they were giants, the Nephilim. These giants were powerful and destructive. The Nephilim spread chaos. They brought violence to the world. The earth was corrupted by their presence. Their existence challenged the natural order. They were a sign of the Watcher's sin and a warning of things to come. God saw the wickedness of humanity. He decided to act. He sent a flood to cleanse the earth. This flood was devastating. It destroyed everything. The waters rose higher and higher, swallowing cities, forests, and mountains. Nothing was spared from the wrath of the deluge. The world as it was known was submerged under the relentless waves. The Nephilim, the giants born of the union between the fallen angels and human women, were wiped out. Their great strength and size could not save them from the divine retribution. The Watchers, those angels who defied God's command and descended to earth, were punished. Their transgressions were severe and their fate was sealed. They were bound in chains, imprisoned in darkness. Their once radiant forms now shrouded in eternal gloom, a stark contrast to their former glory. The Flood was a reset for humanity, a divine intervention to wash away the corruption and start anew. It was a chance for mankind to learn from its past mistakes and rebuild a world in accordance with divine will. A chance to start again. The rainbow, a symbol of God's promise, signified hope and renewal. It was a covenant that such a flood would never again destroy all life on earth. But the story of the Watchers lived on. A reminder. Their tale was a cautionary one, echoing through the ages, of the consequences of disobedience. Their chains, now broken, serve as a testament to the enduring power of divine justice and the importance of adhering to the celestial order.